I uh, mentioned earlier my work on the nature of the human person uh, and my objection to dualistic understandings of human nature. And I think that that's actually relevant to this issue because what happened in the early centuries of Christianity is that uh, uh, Greek worldview was incorporated into our theology. And one aspect of that Greek worldview was a hierarchical ordering of beings with the divine beings at the top and whatever uh, other sorts of spiritual beings there were. And then the human soul. And then there, there's the great ontological dividing line and the human body goes below that and the animals and the plants and the inorganic matter. So it's a worldview that makes a very sharp distinction between the spiritual and the material. And uh, despite the attempts of Christian theologians to remember that scripture says everything that God made is good, our bodies are not uh, prisons, they are gifts of God, etc. There still has been that uh, Greek tendency to give prim primacy to the spiritual and denigrate the physical. So when you get rid of that Greek worldview and the dualistic anthropology that goes with it, uh, it allows us to get back to that Hebraic understanding of human beings as uh, earth creatures, we're made of the dust of the earth, we're created right along with the other animals, uh, and we are special for very special reasons because we are addressed by God, but not because we have some special non-material stuff in us. And if we had kept that perspective of our relatedness to the rest of the world throughout the, the 2,000 years of Christianity, I imagine that um, the physical world would, be, uh, treated, would have been treated much better than it has been. So a connection that uh, for many traditions of Christianity has been lost then. Yes. Very, very interesting.